Welcome back to Que Pasa Nashville. My name is Cristina Allen and thank you for joining us. My next guest, who a lot of you might know, is Marcela Gomez, who's president of the Hispanic Marketing Group. Gracias, Marcela, for being on the show. Gracias a ti. And we've talked, um, I know you were here recently about your company, um, Hispanic Marketing Group. Uh -huh. Can you give us a little bit of overview over it? And then I want to make the announcement of some <laughs> of the things you do. So. Sure, thank you, Cristina. So Hispanic Marketing Group has been in business for about 10 and a half years here in Nashville, Tennessee. And we specialize in helping companies and organizations target the Latino market, um, culturally relevant messages. We do public relations, marketing plans, advertising, and event planning as well. Well, that's pretty exciting. Um, and as a person who's been here, I mean, your company is 10 and a half years old. Yes. But it's very exciting to announce that you have been invited to be part of the inaugural Viva Broad. Broadway Advisory Board out of New York City. Correct. Tell me a little bit about that announcement. Sure, yes, yeah, so the Broadway League, the National Broadway League out of New York, um, I mean, just looking at the audiences and looking at the overall demographic, wanted to do something that was intentionally directed to the Latino market, and not only to bring more Latino audience to the Broadway shows, but also to expose them to the entire Broadway industry, the behind the scenes. So um, it's, a, it's a program for us to let people and young people know that there's an industry there's this huge energy and force behind going to see a show so they can be writers they can be you know just uh, set decorators producers lights everything that goes behind the show so the national national Broadway League opened a program or created a program called Viva Broadway and one of the cities where they implemented that or are implementing that is Nashville Tennessee and only four cities were chosen yes that's all pretty the exciting that yes, Nashville yes and is there what is the connection between Viva um, Broadway and TPAC. Sure. So, so TPAC, the Tennessee Performing Arts Center, obviously here is where all the Broadway shows come, right? And so the connection to Nashville is through TPAC with Viva Broadway. They are a member of the National Broadway League. Um, and so they, we, we looked at the program itself. We went to New York. Um, and so we came back and said, uh, you know, we, it's not just about Broadway at TPAC because you have the education series that they do. And which they is have the HOT program, the Humanities Outreach in Tennessee, uh -huh. which a lot of school children exactly, come to. Exactly. Exactly. So they have that, and then they also have the ballet there. They also have the Tennessee Repertoire Theater. So they wanted to incorporate all of that and took Viva Broadway and converted to Bravo TPAC. Oh, that's so perfect. everything that happens under that roof, um, it's you know, it's something to be excited about and something that we intentionally want to present and make uh, the Latino audience aware of. Now I do know, and just to disclose, I worked at TPAC for four years, okay. so we had um, uh, a Bravo Nashville, which is trying to get young professionals. So I, in understanding how TPAC works and yes. the HOT program. Uh -huh. How are you partnering up with the Latino community? What are some examples of events or behind the scenes that you might do? Sure. So we, you know, we do a lot of public relations. So we let people know about the shows that are already coming, because um, of course you know that every show, every Broadway show, is in English in the right. English language. So we're reaching out to the young Latinos that are in college and in high school who are fully bilingual, who can take advantage of that and enjoy it. And and so and we have partnered with the Tennessee Latin American Chamber of Commerce with the YM. MCA Latino Achieros, uh, Achievers um, with the Futuro program and so we, we so you have a core group of people correct that can be exposed yes, to it, yes yes and so and we give uh, you know tours behind the scenes and so we're doing something really exciting for the next show in January which is, uh, which is I, I love, love Lucy, Lucy. yes yeah, so Ricky Ricardo <laughs> I know with Ricky Ricardo who actually was one of one of the first Latinos ever exactly. in the entertainment industry in the United States and he actually you know opened the way for a lot of the Latinos who are now not only on Broadway or on TV, but on film and all kinds exactly. of entertainment. So we're really excited about that show. Um, we want everybody to go, and so we're going to have a question uh, and answers panel with some of the actors from the show um, on the Wednesday that, that the show starts. So it'll be very exciting, and we're inviting the Tennessee Latin American Chamber of Commerce and the Futuro members also to be there and get them exposed to what Broadway is all about. And see not only the performance in the, in the seats, but behind the behind scenes Behind the well. scenes, yes, because they will have, like I said before, a Q&A with some of the actors, and then they will also get to meet the band members of the Ricky Ricardo band, so oh, that's, that's going to be and, a lot and, of fun. And the thing with Ricky Ricardo is he brought that type of music, the salsa, yeah. the, the, the horns, the full yes. orchestra of yeah. Latin music to in, yeah. in, the, in that time frame um, to be appreciated with yeah. the Latin American yeah. stuff. Yeah. So not only, um, and on this advisory board with you mm -hmm. are some very significant people. I know 
Nochita Vivera, which was just recently um, given a, a huge show on the CBS This Morning yeah. show and stuff. But you have some very big Raul Esperanza, um, uh, Luis Medi Mer Miranda, all these people yeah. who are what? Are they just advocates well, yes, of yes. theater? Yes, well, we're, we're all on the advisory board. And so what we do is we either go to New York uh, once every quarter or we phone in and everybody gives their ideas of what we can do, right? And so next, and next, next year, so this year was only in those four cities. Nashville was one of the cities. And so next year we're, go we're doing it. something bigger than that. Yeah, just taking it to other cities, but also being more intentional about what are the messages that we're putting out there. Uh, so there's a Facebook page called Viva Broadway. Okay. Um, and so just things like that where people can can know who who's working in Broadway. Names that we probably would not recognize, but just to show other Latinos that Latinos are a big part Existing. of that industry. Yes. Um, yeah. I think the other thing um, worth mentioning is that um, TPAC, the Tennessee Performing Arts Center, was one of the earliest nonprofits, um, uh, theater or uh, arts organization mm -hmm. to bring in uh, diverse shows. Yeah. I remember in I think 2004 they brought in a Latin band um, performances for the HOT program as well as for NIGHT. They opened it up for the Latino community. Yeah. Um, the ballet has yeah. a, so, the ballet you see, yeah. so do you see more and more of the arts or organizations here in Nashville kind of thinking diverse yes. and booking things? Do you yes. see that happening Absolutely, more? yeah. So uh, three years ago, uh, TPAC brought the Mariachi Vargas, which yes. is huge in Latin America. And so that was a great show. And then a year and a half ago, uh, the Scammer Horn brought the ba El Ballet Colombiano. Si. So that was also just an amazing traditional dances from Colombia, South America. So more and more they're coming because they're seeing that there's an audience here and there's a need, not only for us Latinos to be exposed and remember our countries, but for the entire general audience to just get to know more about the world and the diverse that we locally have. Are they going to work with you and the students to do discounts by any chance? Just yes. thought I'd do that. I have to yes. throw that in because no. it is a high price point. Oh, absolutely. But so absolutely. with students, they do have... Yes, yes. Yeah. So with the I Love Lucy show in particular, tickets start at $17. And that is pretty yeah. good for a student, yes. a Broadway yes. student, to get yes. not only the show, but get behind the scenes exactly. and access. Exactly, yeah. And so, and the show is fantastic. I mean, the reviews of the I Love Lucy show are fantastic. So we really hope that a lot of people get to go. So what we're going to do uh, in the next couple of weeks is uh, post the link to buy the tickets at a Perfect. discount okay. on the Tennessee Latin American Chamber of Commerce, which is um, tlacc.org. So okay. you'll have the link there to your discount. That is perfect. Well, I'm very excited that not only are you becoming a liaison with, you know, whether it's New York or other enti entities bringing it to Nashville, but that Nashville is and Middle Tennessee is open yes. to see the Latin community growth as well as potential in sales. I mean, it has Absolutely. to have a balance of yes. understanding that um, there's a lot of assimilated professionals here that exactly. can afford it, but exactly. not just that in any other industry. Yeah. Marcella, thank you very much thank for being you, part of the show. Um, you know, continue to do what you're doing with not only working with organizations and marketing them, but also being able to open up your assets of diversity and bringing it to Nashville. So thank, thank you. you. So um, make sure it's called, what's the website? Um, Viva, the Facebook is Viva Broadway. The Facebook is Viva Broadway and the discount for the I Love Lucy show tickets are gonna be at tlacc.org. And which is very important if you go on there because that will also show the magnitude of Latinos buying tickets through their organization, yes. which shows the fact that we do um, all work together. Yes. So <laughs> thank you again, Marcella, thank you. and thank you to my guest, Anne Gillespie. Thank you for joining, um, the, I was going to say the Tennessee Performing Arts, <laughs> but thank you for joining Que Pasa in Nashville on the opportunities and challenges Latinos bring to Middle Tennessee and the beauty that we bring with our assets of diversity. Join us each week. Gracias. You can just sit here for a while.